friends! What? My name is Dan, and together with my friends, Max, Mr. Hotshot himself, Shun, and Bobby. we are the Bakugan Battle Brawlers! What are you gonna do? The odds are stacked against you. Back against the wall, gotta give it your all. This is the final stand. This is the final stand. This is the final stand. What did we just find? Okay, look. I understand trying to make like products like this to like get more viewers, to get more people into it so you can like increase your revenue. Adding Leonidas, the one Bakugan character, well actually the second Bakugan, second, second Bakugan character, who never got an official physical model before, and finally giving it a model form? in the new version of Bakugan, the one that nobody gives a fuck about, the one that nobody cares about. You make it. You don't even make the right one. You put it in this giant ass box for 30 fucking dollars. And for what? Nobody's gonna buy this. Nobody cares, it's all full. Just, why couldn't you make the original Leonidas? Regular Leonidas, Omega Leonidas, a two for one in a pack? And just, just, just sell that. You would make so much money given how many pl people um, and fans of Bakugan absolutely loved and adored that game. Instead, you have to make something stupid like that. Nobody cares about oh, shit. <laughs> oh, you don't have the gold? Where did you come up from? Hey, why, what do you mean? Stop. <laughs> I don't know. I just... What the hell's that gonna do? <laughs> I don't know, but... Final words. Honestly, it's stupid. Look, if anything, dude, I'd probably just, like, Deagle Maneuver that thing. I'm not paying $30 for a Leonidas version that I don't even care about. I really am not going to pay that much. And, dude, you know what's the thing that sucks? What? A normal one is 12 bucks almost. <laughs> I know it is. That's what sucks. Dude, $12 for something nobody cares about anymore and you already ruined. That look, like, let's come and look at the regular version of it. <laughs> what the fuck is this? This is Bakugan now? This one that looks like a toy, this one's a unicorn, this one's a stupid lizard. This isn't worth it. Look, I get it's gold, it's supposed to be you, like that rare thing that they add, but like, why? Why for something this dumb? Hey, how are you? Dude, I'm hey, David, how are you, man? Dude, I don't care about Gopic's stupid, like, autistic brother, bro. <laughs> Any final words for the viewers? That's stupid. That ugly ass, stupid gay Netflix TV show, and they make an op out of it. Fuck the new Bakugan, fuck that price, I'm not buying that. Are you gonna give some commentary? Mr. Daniel, what do you have with you today? I have with me... Oh, there it is. I have with me the new Bakugan uh, set that comes with the, the arena, the gate card, and of course, the Bakugan that, I, that me and you have wanted for years and years and years and years. The one we've been dreaming of having, the one we waited for the day for the Bakugan company to finally release and make, but they didn't until now, the Leonidas set. Now, unfortunately, this is not the Leonidas I remember. This is not the Leonidas you remember. This is not our Leonidas. This is this new generation of Bakugan's Leonidas, okay? Look, in all honesty, he looks dumb. His teeth are ugly. He's more bulky and looks more robotic. His tail is fat as hell. But Leonidas is Leonidas. And I have waited for it. I waited for it for years. I didn't care if I had to pay. You know, you got a special one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. We're going to open this up and see how it is. Wow. 
since 2008 or 2009 how long would that be from now 8 9 10 12 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 15 fucking years uh, no i don't think it was 15 no way i counted from 8 wait wait, wait. 20 21 22 four, oh wow 13 14 years exactly 13 14 years 13, 14 fucking years we waited for this buck run to finally come. It's not exactly what we hoped for, but hey, Leonidas is Leonidas. And what's unique about him is he's one of a kind. He's gold and he has his own unique thing. He's neither of the attributes, which honestly kind of, yeah, it kind of fits him. I'm going to put that here. Let's bring out more of this shit. All right, here's the thing about there's the gate card. Here's this giant set. I honestly don't give a fuck about this set. I'm going to sell it. I literally could not care less. Why the company decided to sell a Leonidas? Look, I understand what they were doing. I, I'm still going to question it, but I still understand their method. It's Leonidas. You know, they, they knew like people like us, the old fans, would go crazy over seeing Leonidas finally coming back. I honestly thought this was like something else when I first saw it. But then you pointed out this was Leonidas. I didn't know how to react. I really did not know how to react. But I understand why. They wanted to make it as special as possible. Oh, you get Leonidas and you get this giant uh, arena where you can play with the other ones. You said that this new generation of Bakugan has a following. I honestly d don't see it because every time we go to a store and we see these Bakugans, they are, the shelves are stuffed and full and packed. So honestly, I think nobody even likes this Bakugan. But... Leonidas is Leonidas. There's the gate card. They wanted to make this more of like a special edition thing. So obviously they had to make it as big and expensive and extravagant as possible. Which was stupid. They should have just sold it by itself and they would have gotten the same amount of people coming after it. Oh, just the other part of the set. It's a big goddamn set. I thought this was just going to be one set just like folded in. It's huge. I don't know who wants this full thing. I actually saw a review. People said that it's actually kind of uh, difficult to play on. I don't, I don't blame them. Look how fucking big this shit is. Let's see. Let's take a let's take a gander at this uh, new gate card and this new ability card. Fuck you. Big goddamn thing. What the fuck is this shit? What are these, power boosters or something? What the hell is this? I think so, something like that. Plus 300, plus 3, minus 200, B, plus 5. I don't know what the fuck they, I don't know what the fuck. It's just like Yu-Gi-Oh, bro. They just make it so unnecessarily complicated. Like, nobody wants it this complicated. That's just an instruction. Holy shit, this thing is even bigger than I thought it was. Look at this shit. That has all the elements showing on it, all the new. They even had to change the goddamn signatures of the new, of like the elements. It used to be Pyrus, Aquas, Subterra, Chaos, Darkest. Now Don't it's all this me. new colored shit. We'll see it on the card. Where's the card? Yeah, new gate card. Really don't like it at all. I don't know if this is supposed to be Leonidas. This doesn't look like him. Looks like one of those other, oh sorry. Looks like one of those other bygones. So we have Pyrus, new symbol. Aquas, new symbol. I'm assuming Subterra. Subterra used to be brown, like the brown as shit, but now it's just dark green. There's this one, which is like a light green baby blue mix, which is obviously Ventus. Chaos, and then my favorite one, Darkus. So Darkus is his strongest version. Second would be Aquas, and then Chaos. And then Subterra, and then Pyrus, and the weakest is Ventus. Which makes sense. I have never seen anybody play a Ventus Leonidas. Not even in the walkthroughs of, like, the old Bakugan video games. Have you? Yeah, I've seen one guy do it. Seriously? Yeah. I've only ever seen <coughs> Chaos, Darkus, and Pyrus. Uh, this one guy, like, he did, like, a walkthrough of all the attributes. Okay, there's that. Where is it? Here's the ability card. That's Leonidas in his full form. You can see fat tail, giant fucking legs, like huge, thick legs, buck fucking teeth. No, but see, this is why I believe it's a chaos, dude. Because look, 
Look how light that is. This is a chaos, Leonidas. I, I this think... gate card is a chaos, but look at the symbol. There's a symbol. Look. It's the same. Is it? It's chaos, Leonidas. Oh, shit. It is a chaos, Leonidas. The, what the wait, look at the gate card then. Look at the gate card. The lightest color is the one uh, thing above uh, darkest. So that is chaos. No, it's different. No, see, look at the sides. And look at the pattern in between. Oh, shit, you're right, it is. I thought it was a one-of-a-kind one. That's disappointing, but at the same time, that makes sense, because in the game, Leonidas' ability card in Gate Card yeah. was Chaos. Yeah. He was a Chaos Bakuno, which made no sense, given the fact of where he was hey, born. Hey, open it. All right. That's disappointing, but oh, well. Oh wow! Wait, let me get the horn out. No money. What the fuck? Why is his horn? Where is this shit? What the fuck? Why isn't his horn coming out? Let you try. I'm right, sorry about that little technical difficulty. I had trouble getting this horn out, but yeah, here it is. Wow, looks nice in some sort of way. It's unique. We'll say that. It's unique. We got the little legs here. We got some arms decals. We got the nice horn layout. I want to ask you this. Based on this card, what version of Leonidas do you think this would be representing? Regular Leonidas or Omega? It's clear Omega. I'm going to be honest. I don't think this is like a Leonidas Omega Leonidas. I think this is like a new version of it. But if I had to choose... What it would be similar to? It looks similar to Omega Leonidas. I know, but no, no. Overall, like I, I don't think it has anything to do with it. I think it's just like a new evolution or a new form. Because in like the newer video game, I forgot what it was called, but it had a different name. What would it be? Oh, I found its thing. The natural uh, what is G's it? it has. You know how every Bakugan usually would come with like their own G's, like someone coming like a. Uh, 120 pow power level of G's. Right. One will come with 200. Leonidas naturally comes with 100. Added to that, his since he's Chaos, and with his get card, that means he would go from 400. Added to his ability card, that would go to, oh my god, 1,400. Jeez. I mean, that's if we're calculating it right. If, yeah, you're correct. And from what I could see, there's a little thing here in the back. So I think he might have something similar to like a... Some armor additional set, maybe. Maybe, I don't or know. Or maybe something could be added to him because like, there was nothing that came with it. Mm. But yeah, overall, there it is. Oh yeah, we also like did a quick little update. The video game came out in 2009, so that's... 13 Nine. years ago. 13, 14 years just waited for this guy to finally come. Some people are freaking out about it. Like, oh my god, it's Leonidas. Or my childhood dream has finally come true. What do you think? Do you think your dream has come true? At least he got some sort of recognition. Exactly. I mean, look, look, look. I'm going to be honest. Compared to, like, compared to, like, the other Bakugan that came out, like, some of them just kind of look retarded compared to, like, their older versions. This one doesn't look half bad. This one does have a nice look. The other Leo, the other Bakugan that came out, the new versions of Drago. Oh my god. Childish, cartoonish, stupid looking. So one of them is just literally just some giant robotic bear. Which is dumb. But yeah, this I am satisfied with this. <sighs> got darker. Anyway, think. Yeah. What do you think, Matthew? Are you satisfied with Leonidas? I mean, I'm glad we have him now. I am too. Finally having him after all these years. It Look, some part of me deep down... Is not as satisfied. Is satisfied, yet not as satisfied. I'm happy to have a Leonidas, but is it the Leonidas I wanted? No. I would have liked for it to finally come out. An av a regular Leonidas, maybe like all the attribute versions of him like be available 
a little uh, box pack. Not something giant like this. A small little pack that came with like two Bakugan. Regular Leonidas and Omega Leonidas. And came with both the ability cards and gate cards. Mm -hmm. Whether it be Chaos, Pyrus, Darkus, Aquas, whatever. I 100% would get the Darkus. You would get the Pyrus. And then we would both get Chaos. Just because like it fulfills you know his natural thing. Right. And I would be satisfied with that. I genuinely would. I would feel very happy. I would like admire it. I would just like keep it on like a stand, you know, in my room and just like keep it there. Always looking at it, always feeling satisfied. It's like, wow, I finally have it. But this, you get what you get. I'm not surprised they fucked up on the new Leonidas toy companies nowadays. have been creating so many stupid shit. You ask them to make something. They make it either years and years and years after you ask for it or they never make or they make it and they make a different version of it of not what you not exactly what you wanted. And they act like all oh, innocent. Oh, didn't you want Leonidas? Yeah, we wanted Leonidas from the video game. This isn't the video <laughs> game one. Right. So, yeah, you get what you get. You make the best of what you have and what you've given. We have Leonidas after all these years. I'm happy. I don't know what the fuck to do with these. What, what did what did the guy in the video call it? Uh, nano cores, something like that. It's something cores, buckle cores, nano cores. I forget what it's called. Nano cores. Oh, and then we found out about like those other mini versions of Bakugan. Nano guns. Oh, is that what's called? Jesus Christ. Yo, we took your Bakugan and we made it smaller. Would you buy, like... What? Would you buy any, like, other new Bakugan? Hell fucking no, dude. They all look stupid and weird. Not even if you found, like, a cool black... Uh, no. Like, a darkest dragon? Absolutely not. Never. So this is, like, the only time you made an exception? Because this is Leonidas. Okay, what if they made a Battle Axe Vlad <laughs> Vladator? Oh. And they just called him Vladator. If they did that, I would have to use my uh, special skill to acquire it. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely would have to acquire that. But I am satisfied. I now have a Leonidas. All my other older Bakugans are unfortunately gone. You know, I sold them off. Except for my Naga. That special edition Naga that came with the Bakugan video game. I'll never give that one, and now that Naga finally has a friend. The two most unique Bakugan out there, a Leonidas and a Naga. That's a nice collection to have. How's it going? Bugs.